welcome to my 5-ish a.m. morning routine. I only have done one of these in quite some time in detail, so I thought I'd show you all what I do every morning and also why I get up so early. I know I don't wake up at exactly 5 a.m. and this is also not a cute aesthetic girl morning routine that I'm sure you've seen online already, but for me, waking up early is a really good time just to take time for myself and for God, honestly, and set aside the first part of my day to do something that's very good for me and something that I want to do before work starts, before all the other demands of life begin, I try to make sure that I take time to honestly edit, take care of social media work that allows me to make what you all can see. I realize that if I wanted to fit those things in in the day that are deeply personal and important to me, I had to set aside some time earlier in the day because if I wait any later, it simply won't happen because the chaos of life seeps in. It's around 6.30 now. I'm gonna head to the gym for a yoga class. I did not go to the gym all last week because my car is broken. So getting back in there on a Monday. I personally like wearing pretty loose flowing clothes when I work out, so I just have this flowy big t-shirt, um, but I am wearing leggings. These are from Aloe. They're the first pair of leggings I've ever gotten from Aloe because it's so freaking expensive, but they're so comfortable, and I hope these last me the rest of my life. When I was in a job where it was really hard to have personal time and I wasn't feeling particularly fulfilled by the job, I realized that it was really nice to start every day doing something that I wanted to do because then when work was hard or I was tired at the end of the day, I always knew at least I squeezed a little bit in of something that was important to me. So it's very helpful for my mental health. And even though I know mornings aren't for everyone, it's been really helpful for me and it's really helped my mental health. So it's been great. shower feeling so good. I sometimes shower at the gym honestly, but today I just wanted to be at home. If any of y'all remember this past winter, my skin was going through it. I was breaking out so badly on all the sides of my face and now it's just kind of reduced to scars, thankfully. So I want to show you all what I've been using to help heal my face because it was so frustrating. These are all from Wish Trend and I'll have them linked below, but every morning I start out with the Revectin toner. This stuff is just so hydrating and slippery. I like to use exfoliating and like retinol serums at night. So for the morning, I use this Propolis serum. It's a really popular ingredient in Korea and a lot of my Korean family friends swear by it. And for me, I'm just looking for stuff to help heal my acne scars and keep future acne away. And I feel like this does that. For moisturizer, I love this Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. The texture kind of looks like jello, honestly, which is really cool because it like kind of holds its shape. It just melts into my skin so nicely. And I think what happened in the winter was that my skin barrier got damaged when I was traveling and it was just super, super dry. So that's why I was breaking out constantly and my skin got really sensitive to stuff. So these three have been my morning holy grails and I feel like they've really worked. And this is the last Wish Trend item I've been using this month that I really, really like. It's the Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil and it's an oil makeup remover. And also I found that if I massage it in my face for long enough, it helps get rid of all those like nasty blackheads and like really um, like hard clogged pores. So I use that as like a little massage for like five minutes, like a pretty extensive period of time, which is a cool little hack that I learned. And this is not sponsored, but these were gifted. I've worked with Wish Trend for like ever and have been talking about their products literally since college. So these are just my picks for now. And my last one is a sunscreen, so we're gonna go back into my bedroom. I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear makeup today or not. I'm not going to the office, so I kind of don't think I need to. I might just do a tiny bit, but this is my last Wish Trend product that I've been using literally every day. It is my favorite sunscreen that I've used in a really long time. A lot of y'all know Korean sunscreens are just built different, but this one from Claire's just soaks into your face like a real lotion. And I just think it's really, really good SPF 50 and it's not as expensive 
as a lot of the other ones I've seen on the market. I always love trying different sunscreens, so I'll like always test out a bajillion ones, but I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this one, and I've been using it since college. And it's hydrating, but it's not oily because it sinks into your skin pretty fast. So I like to apply my sunscreen and then go make some coffee or something to let it all sink in before I apply any makeup if I apply makeup. Invest in cheaper espresso machines, y'all. You don't need to save up for the like thousand dollar one. You can get a little one to two hundred dollar one and not buy lattes or coffee out every day. And you will still save money. I feel like I don't shut up about this because I've mentioned it in like every past video, but I've been going through this book called Lies Women Believe with some of my friends from church and um, it's a little devotional that comes with a workbook and it's just been integrated into my daily quiet time to get through the book and to better understand the uh, lies and negative things I've learned about myself or the world that do not amount to anything good in my life. So it's definitely made me think a lot, especially because coming into this book, I was like, mm, I feel like I don't really believe many lies and I have a pretty good sense of myself. And I don't think that's a common way of thinking, but if you ever have thought that, I would like to challenge you. I think it's hilarious now in retrospect that I came into this book thinking like, yeah, I think I'm good. Don't really think I have many things to work on. That itself, the lie. <laughs> Okay friends, the work laptop is open. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy my toast as I go through some emails. But that wraps up this very casual and simple and quick uh, morning routine video. I hope you all enjoy just seeing what my days look like. I know I normally vlog on the weekends to show you fun, exciting things I'm doing, but this is what most days look like. And the rest of the day, I'm just right here at my laptop doing work for my day job. Love y'all. Please let me know if there's any different types of videos or things that you'd like me to share on the internet or document. Always happy to do so. Love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.